Okay, so what we have here is our pump reverse osmosis system. Now you'll need this if you have lower water pressure in the property. Uh, for the standard system, you need 2.7 bar or above. If it's below that, then you'll require the pumped system. The pump isn't there to push the water through the tap any quicker, it's simply there to push the water through the system so it's more effective. So, we're going to look at how to install this system today. First of all, let's take a look at what we've got. So we've got the main system here with the pump, we've got the tank, and then we also have the parts box here, okay? So, first of all, we need to check that we've got enough space for everything uh, below the sink. So, we open this up. You can see already, the space is probably going to be a little bit tight for both the unit and the tank, okay? So, what you can do is if that is the case, you can simply locate the tank in an adjacent cupboard, okay? So just under here, will fit quite nicely. Tubing would then come up. There's usually a little gap here between the units. If not, very easy to just drill a hole straight through and push the tubing through, okay? So let's just take that out for now. So, the main unit will then simply sit under here, because this is where it's going to connect to the cold water supply and also where it's going to connect to the drinking water tap. So it would simply slide in, in there, okay? So we'll keep this out just so that we can go through exactly what we need to do. So from the glass box, you have the two filters for the top of the system. We'll look at how to put those on in just a minute. You have coloured tubing. So red, black and yellow, put those here. That's the drain clamp, you'll see it also says a yellow tube on it, so you know exactly where it's going. A tap, with a tap connector, also discs. The saddle valve, which is how you're going to connect to the cold water supply. The inline shutoff valve, which is useful when you're changing the filters. A tank valve, and you'll also get two of these. So this is the um, filter changing wrench for the membrane. So keep a hold of this, because in two years time you'll need it when you come to change this, it's, it's over there. We also send a slightly larger one, which is for these lower units as well. I just haven't got it in shot at the moment. Okay, just put this to one side. So, what do we do with all these parts? The first thing we're going to look at is the saddle valve. This simply clamps onto your cold water supply. So, you locate this underneath the sink. And simply screw this onto the cold supply. So you can usually feel it to see which one's which. So this is the cold down here. You'd simply take this bit out, clamp that over the pipe, and then you screw this in to pierce it. We do also have a separate video on how to attach a saddle valve, which will be linked in this video as well. So you screw this all the way in, then unscrew a few turns, that pierces the pipe and allows water to flow out of the cold pipe in your kitchen, through this blue tubing, and then into the starter valve system. Okay? Now the blue tubing goes in here. You'll see, blue tube, so that simply pushes straight in there, push it all the way in nice and firm, and that's a push for connection, okay? So that will stay in there. So that is where the water enters into your system. In here, you have a white polypropylene pre-filter, which is five microns, and then a carbon filter and another carbon filter. So that's the order those go in, okay? Next, what we're gonna do, we're going to look at how we attach the drain clamp. So, this is how it looks when it comes in the box. Now, keep a hold of this because this is what goes on the inside of here. So, that's a sticky bit. You simply take that off and then stick it over the hole there. Okay, so that makes a nice seal against the, the drain that you connect it to. Okay, so this thing goes under the sink and connects to the downpipe from your sink, okay? So the vertical part here. You want to put it before the trap there, ideally, okay? And you simply 
put that on, put the other side on, and then with the bolts, they simply go through here, through the other side, and then they're tightened with the nut, okay? So it simply goes on to the end there and is screwed tight. And you do exactly the same for that side as well, okay? And then you leave that in place. The next thing we need to do is actually to drill a hole into the downpipe, okay? So you just take a, a drill bit, simply push through here until you hit the plastic, screw in, take out, and that's the hole made in the correct place, okay? So we'll just take this out for now. The next thing you need to do for that waste is the yellow tube, okay? So that's what we said on the bag that we had with that connector, yellow tube. And what you'll do is where that's connected under here, simply push the yellow tube into it, okay? You can leave that in the situ down there. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is the filters that go on top. So filter two and filter one. Simply turn them this way around, okay? So they will be upside down when you look at them. You also notice on them, it has flow on it, okay? So this is the direction the water needs to travel through the filters. So it travels through the thicker end, this way, and then again, through the thicker end, and out this way. So these go onto the top of the system up here. Again, filter two is this one here. Yeah. Simply click into these two parts here. Filter one onto the other two, okay? That holds them in place. You have two loose bits of white tubing. This one here, which has that two piece on it, and this one here, which has that, sorry, an elbow piece on it. Okay, so if you look down here, you can see this one comes from this area here. This is where the TDS meter is, okay? So this one goes into filter two, like so. Push fits all the way in. And this longer one here goes up here to filter one. So the water, when it's clean, will come up through here, through filter two, around, and then down through this one, then out towards the tap. Okay, so where do we put the rest of the tube in? If we look around the back here, you'll see black, red, and yellow tube. Okay, the black tube, so if you push in there, this is going to go to your tank. Okay, so whether or not it's beside the unit or it's in a separate cupboard, it doesn't matter. If it is in a separate cupboard, let us know and we can send you an extra length of tubing, okay, so that it will reach to the tank. The red, as with the black, simply put in there. And the yellow, as we remember, is this one that was connected under here to the waste. And that will simply push into here, okay? So it may be easier to assemble all of these when you're actually under there, but just for the purposes of this video and for clarity, we'll show you it above, okay? So with the tank, how do we connect that black tubing? You use this, that's the tank valve, and you'll see black tube in there as well. Simply screw on to the top of the tank. Don't overdo it, otherwise it could end up splitting the bottom of the valve. So just so that it's nice and sort of hand tight, and then simply push the black tubing, the other end, into the tank, okay? Easy as that. We'll just take that out for now. Okay. Just to know, when you have it installed in the tank, that position is on, so the tank will fill. If you ever need to turn the tank off, you simply turn the valve, 90 degrees, and that is off, okay? We'll do this over here. So, the last thing that we need to do is install the tap. This will go onto the Side, so you might want to drill a hole through your worktop or through the sink, wherever you fancy, or you might have one of these, maybe at the back, which is a hole already, okay? So that's simply going to go through the worktop so it overhangs the sink. What you do is you start with a 4mm drill piece and go to 12mm, 
and that will get it the, the correct size hole for this. Okay, you then use the discs that are supplied with the tap to mount it. This blue one, that's just a cover, so it's actually a silver disc. You can simply pull that off. And uh, that is the first one to go on top of here, followed by the rubber one, which is in there. And then this pin here, which has these little clasps on it, screws in from the underside. So go up and screw onto the tap, like so, and that keeps it firmly in place. Now, that red tubing, which goes to the tap here, that simply comes up and connects to this other little part which comes in the tap bag. So this is a quarter inch to quarter inch piece. So that goes onto the end of the tap where it is under the sink and the red tubing, wherever the other end of it is here, simply slots into there, okay? Now, once that's all installed, make sure that you have a power point close by, as we do under here. So you simply remove the plug, turn it on, the system will start and you're away.